Hey everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another layout using an acrylic stash today with a few of my scrappy friends which are listed below for you. Today I'm using some Abella Boulevard supplies and I am pulling out some acrylic bits by Pear Tree Cut Files, but also this one that has been in my stash for a long time from Bramble Fox. Um, I actually won it in a challenge at some point in time, um, so I got it in the mail and I've just never used it and I actually forgot that I had it because it wasn't even with my other acrylic bits so I pulled that out today to use it. Um, I've cut some strips here from some of the pattern pieces of paper in the Our Love Song collection by Bella Boulevard and I am just roughing up the edges with my edge distressor and as you can see at that black one there I had used a border punch on it and then trimmed it down so it was a little one too. So I am just um, continuing to kind of rough this one up. I wanted some extra interest in that pink one and there are my two photos. I've already backed them with some smooth white cardstock. It's um, a couple photos of me and my little girl girl um, we were just hanging out at our farm and um, I've picked those two photos for this layout today now to me on this camera I don't know if it's the angle of those stripes or what but it makes it look like those are really super crooked but I use the roller I use my t-square roller to make them straight across and I checked again now after this layout is done and sitting here in front of me and they are straight so I think it's really just an illusion on my camera here that it looks to me like it's so crooked on the bottom but it's it's totally not it's just one of those weird things I guess <laughs> There's my little guy coming in. Um, that's my four-year-old that's popping in um, that needed a couple things there. And then my other one came over and messed up my tape runner. So I had to put that back on the roll. He likes to peel the tape off of the actual um, roll of tape, I guess is what you call it. Like he peels the, the adhesive off of the roll and then it gets all messed up in my tape gun. So I just had to pop it back on. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to rough, rough up these edges of the little border punch at the bottom and then I'm going to scatter these little acrylic stars across the top of my layout and the bottom of my layout there in a vertical design, keeping with those black splatters that I added with some Heidi Swap color shine in black. And I really like this cute little star that's a chipboard. Um, I didn't really have any other stars in this collection, so I just pull out the few that I have. <laughs> There's my little guy coming in again. He really likes playing with all my goodies here on my desk and sometimes I let him and I give him his own stuff so he has stickers and a different coloring and things beside me here that he plays with but he's not going to help me out with this layout today unfortunately. <laughs> So I'm just gonna continue to add things to this. I am um, kind of playing around seeing if I wanna put something at the top of my picture. So I pull out some of this ephemera and I'm going to add um, one of these little die cuts at the top of my photos for each of them. Um, I'm looking specifically for the little tags that come in this collection. Um, I wanna pop the XOXO one on the top of my layout here, but it comes so that you can fold it in half and use both sides, but I clip that in half and only use one at a time and I was gonna use the other one on the top of my other photo but I figured it was a little bit much so I chose that adorable label instead and note that I'm talking about my little girl not myself she is absolutely adorable and so sweet and we just love her around here so I am just going to see what else goes with this layout I'm gonna pop this little sweetheart letter uh, word phrase down there at the bottom and just gonna work on scattering all my hearts so I'm gonna pick up my Nuvo glue and use that to actually adhere all of my stars down here um, did I say hearts earlier oh boy I am losing it so I'm just gonna continue just kind of building this layout up and adding all these little acrylic bits. So I am using a lot of acrylic pieces today. So um, this kind of series that we do every month, we do it once a month or actually twice a month um, on the 18th and then again on the 28th, I believe it is. So um, twice a month and some of us do YouTube videos, others do Instagram. So make sure you pop down in the links below and follow the other girls playing along. They'll have some beautiful creations for you as well. And yeah, so I'm using up a lot of acrylic bits on this one. And I was actually considering adding some sequins to this, but I've been using sequins on a lot of my layouts lately. So I thought it looked fine without them this time. 
So I'm just going to kind of build this a little bit more. I really like these cute little sunglasses, so I'm gonna add those in. I kind of have a play with where exactly I want them, and I wanna add something else, maybe another little star over by my rainbow. So I'm gonna add one of those there, and I'm just using this liquid Nuvo glue to glue these down. Um, I get mine from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club um, website because I'm also on their design team, so I get it from them. And some of these pear tree stars do have the backing on, so just make sure you're checking that and peeling that off. And then this one from Bramble Fox still had it on as well. So you just have to peel that off before you put glue on it because it won't stick very well if you don't peel that off. And I'm just going to adhere down my little sunglasses here. I thought they were appropriate since I'm wearing sunglasses in the photo. And then my little Let the Good Times Roll chipboard from Bella. And I had to put my little dish on top of the Besties acrylic because it wasn't sticking down to my back cardstock, my main background piece. So I had to just kind of weight it down a little bit so it stuck to both pieces. And then I'll pick that up in a minute here. So I'm just finishing adhering all of these little stars down and again I was going to add sequins but I decided not to on this one. I really liked the feel of this and how it looked without them so I didn't want to make it too overpowering. And then I'm going to add just one little star right here on my little bow. Then I decide that I'm going to pull out um, my Ellie's Studio stamp set here. And I am going to add just one little label underneath my title. Um, this is the True Love tab stamp set. And then these little labels. And I'm just using some black archival ink because I know that it's going to stamp really crisp and clear for me. So I'm just going to tuck that right below my title and that's going to finish this one off. So thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you check out the other people playing along. And I'll link everything down below for you in the description. So thanks again so much for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.